Chapter 916, Main Auction Item An uproar suddenly swept over the auction ground like a wave. Everyone were a little stunned as they looked at the extremely cute girl with two pigtails within the seating area. It was likely that they did not expect that the shocking price from earlier had actually come from her mouth. Yu, Lin Dong was also stunned as he looked at Mu Ling Shan. He never imagined that she would actually intervene in this manner. Who asked that fellow to be so dislikable? Mu Ling Shan mumbled. On the auction stage, Tang Dongling was also stunned because of Mu Ling Shan's bid. She only recovered a moment later, before looking at Lin Dong as she smiled a little and said, Little girl, you cannot randomly shout bids in this place. Are you worried that I do not have money? Mu Ling Shan's small mouth frowned, as she spoke in a dissatisfied manner. Tang Dongling shook her head, and looked at Lin Dong in a somewhat helpless manner. The latter returned a helpless smile. After which, he nodded towards her. Although this little girl Mu Ling Shan was young, she would not go overboard. Moreover, this 10 million might be a shocking price, but she also possessed an extraordinary background. It was not impossible for her to take out this seemingly large sum in Lin Dong's eyes. Tang Dongling was unable to say anything more after seeing Lin Dong nodding his head. She softly called out, 10 million going once. The original playful expression on Xia Yan's face had become a lot gloomier after hearing these words. Both of his eyes were dark and cold, as he stared at the Lin Dong duo. Soon after, he laughed coldly, 11 million. Lin Dong frowned slightly. Was this fellow planning to continue pressing them? 15 million. Mu Ling Shan had clearly become a little furious because of Xia Yan's provocation, and directly stood up from her seat. The two pigtails on her head swayed as she once again cried out a price that stirred an uproar. Xia Yan's face twitched. A price of over 10 million was considered quite a big sum even to him. Yet, this little girl of unknown origins had actually cried out such a bid without any hesitation. 16 million. Xia Yan inhaled a breath of deep air, and spoke in a sinister manner. After things had developed to such an extent, everyone could tell that this Xia Yan was purposefully targeting Lin Dong. How could a mere strange corpse be worth such a price? The few big factions at the front of the auction ground were also slightly stunned as they watched this scene unfold. Some interest also rose on their faces. They wanted to see just how this competition would develop. Mu Ling Shan stood on the backrest of the chair. Her small hand folded up her sleeve, as her large eyes glanced towards Xia Yan. That expression of hers was filled with great despise. After which, she extended two of her fingers. Her clear voice, however, caused many hearts to quiver over the words she had spoken, 20 million. Crash! Another uproar of shock spread. Many eyes widened as they looked at the little girl, who had folded up her sleeve, and was stepping on the backrest of a chair. They could sense a domineering aura heading their way. Was this little girl not a little too fierce? 20 million Xian Yuan pills? Did she think that she was throwing beans? The expression on Xia Yan's face had stiffened because of this sky-high bid of 20 million, and even some perspiration had surfaced on his forehead. His appearance was exceptionally amusing. He did not expect that his attempt to dampen Lin Dong's spirits would actually drag him into this mess. Junior Cave Chief The black-robed elder beside Xia Yan hurriedly cried out. They still needed to compete for the final article. Spending such a great fortune to compete with others in terms of ruthlessness was truly not wise. Increase the bid, increase the bid. Why don't you increase the bid? However, Mu Ling Shan merely placed both her hands on her little waist after seeing the ugly expression on Xia Yan's face, and continued to cry out provocations. Her appearance was originally extremely pretty and cute to begin with. This, along with her clear crisp voice, caused the entire auction ground to laugh out loud, while Xia Yan's expression became increasingly ugly amidst this laughter. You. Fury surged within Xia Yan's eyes. Even with his calmness, being provoked by a little girl in front of so many people still caused him to show signs of exploding in anger. 
Junior Cave Chief, endure it. Don't be impulsive, the black-clothed elder beside him hurriedly stopped Xia Yan, and repeatedly persuaded him. Xia Yan's body trembled slightly. However, his self-control was quite good. Ultimately, he inhaled a deep breath of air, and suppressed the fury in his heart. After which, he sat back down and ceased speaking. His appearance was quite miserable. Mu Ling Shan looked at Xia Yan, who had sat back down in a gloomy manner, as a pleased expression quickly surfaced on her small face. After which, she turned her head and smilingly gave Lin Dong, who was smiling in a helpless and bitter manner, a victory sign. Lin Dong did not know whether to laugh or to cry. He said, even if you have money, you should not be spending it in this manner. Mu Ling Shan ignored him. Her small face was filled with an immensely pleased expression. It was likely that she felt extremely good due to having defeated Xia Yan earlier. Tang Dongling watched this farce from the auction stage, and could not help but smile bitterly. After which, she said, if no one else is offering a bit higher than this little girl, this corpse will belong to her. This time around, there was no longer anyone who bidded. After seeing how Mu Ling Shan had increased the bid by a couple of million each time, even these large factions that were seated in front had to re-evaluate their wealth. Since no one increased the bid, the auction of the corpse also came to an end. The next auction item was also being brought out amidst the noises that had yet to stop. However, hardly anyone paid attention to it. Many pairs of eyes looked towards the green-clothed little girl with two pigtails. Even those large factions had also shifted their gazes over. It was likely that they were trying to guess Mu Lingxian's identity. After all, the ability to take out 20 million Xian Yuan pills without hesitation was not something that an ordinary person possessed. The auction continued. However, after the intervention of Mu Lingxian earlier, the subsequent auction items were unable to reach a bid of 20 million, despite fetching rather good bids. This caused the atmosphere within the auction ground to decline slightly. Tang Dongling was also helpless in the face of this. Who could have expected that this little girl would actually be so domineering? Moreover, she could only hope that this little girl was not simply randomly bidding. Otherwise, their Sky Merchant Court would likely experience a headache this time around. Lin Dong also saw the core spiritual birth serum that he had auctioned in the subsequent auctions. It was priced at 1 million or so according to Tang Dongling. However, the final transaction price was around 2,500,000 per drop. In this way, the five drops of spiritual serum had fetched Lin Dong 12 million or so Xian Yuan pills. This was enough to cover the volcano flame essence stones. Lin Dong heaved a sigh of relief after the core spiritual birth serum was successfully auctioned. He gently leaned on the backrest of the chair and watched the subsequent auctions from an outsider point of view. The atmosphere in the auction ground gradually climbed upwards under the control of Tang Dongling, as increasingly rare auction items appeared on the stage. This was especially the case when a low-grade pure Yuan treasure appeared. Excitement rose within the eyes of many people in the auction ground. This treasure was something that only some of the larger factions possessed. It is something that an ordinary person would not be able to obtain even if he wanted one. Even a pure Yuan treasure has appeared. Lin Dong gazed at the auction stage. At this moment, Tang Dongling was holding a dark red long bow in her hand. This long bow was the shape of a phoenix, and the phoenix wings spread apart, forming the body of a bow. A hot and fiery fluctuation lingered over it. It seemed as though one would be able to shoot out flames by pulling a bow. Based on Tang Dongling's introduction, this long bow was called Sky Phoenix Space Shattering Bow. It was a genuine low-grade pure Yuan treasure, and was relatively powerful. Of course, it was also quite expensive. The starting bid itself was 10 million. It was obvious that only those large factions were qualified to compete for such an object. Hence, many people could only shake their heads in disappointment after the price was stated. Of course, those large factions present did indeed covet this Sky Phoenix Space Shattering Bow. 
the price war that was fought was even more heated than when Mu Ling Shan had bid earlier. Within a short couple of minutes, the Sky Phoenix space shattering bow had been obtained by a big faction called Suspended Valley at a price of 27 million. Lin Dong sighed quietly as he watched the competition come to an end. He was also quite attracted to the Sky Phoenix space shattering bow. However, he understood that he currently did not have the capital to compete with these large factions in terms of wealth. Although there was Mu Ling Shan with an vast unknown amount of wealth seated beside him, it was obvious that Lin Dong would not ask her to bid for him. Next will be our final main auction item. On the stage, Tang Dongling revealed an enchanting smile after the frenzied atmosphere earlier finally calmed down a little. After her words sounded, Lin Dong's sharp senses felt those large factions seated in front all quietly straighten their backs. It seems like they are all after this thing, Lin Dong frowned slightly. From the looks of the situation, these people had clearly come prepared. This had caused him to become a little curious. Just what was it that was able to draw in all these people? The subsequent item concerns a cave dwelling that was rumored to have been left behind by a reincarnation stage expert. I believe that everyone should clearly understand its worth. Tang Dongling's voice had just sounded, when the atmosphere within the auction ground directly exploded. An overwhelming noise spread like a tsunami, as countless people suddenly stood up. The expressions in their eyes appeared rather crazed. Tang Dongling was not surprised by the explosive atmosphere. She immediately clenched her hand, as silver light flickered. Finally, a foot-long silver tower flashed and appeared. An ancient and extremely wild and violent fluctuation spread apart the moment this silver tower appeared. The vague sound of thunder seemed to appear along with it. Lin Dong's eyes had also quickly looked towards the silver tower in Tang Dongling's hands. In the next moment, he suddenly felt the devouring ancestral symbol within his body begin to shake crazily. At the same time, he also sensed a trace of an extremely unique ripple being emitted from the silver tower. That ripple seemed as though it originated from the same source as the devouring ancestral symbol. That is. Lin Dong's pupils had shrunk to the size of a pinhole at this moment, and even his voice had become hoarse. His body, which was seated on a chair, trembled slightly. It's, the Thunderbolt Ancestral Symbol's fluctuation. Yan's mumbling voice also sounded at this moment. It was accompanied by an unconcealable shock as it slowly spread. Chapter 917, Thunderbolt Ancestral Symbol Clue Thunderbolt Ancestral Symbol The earth-shaking noise that originally reverberated beside Lin Dong's ears seemed to have completely vanished at this moment. Only these four words continued to rumble within Lin Dong's head like thunder. It was as though there was the faint sound of rumbling thunder exploding in his head, causing his scalp to turn somewhat numb. Lin Dong's eyes were a little unfocused as he looked at the silver tower in Tang Dongling's hand. He had never imagined that he would genuinely sense an ancestral symbol in this place after searching for so many years. Others might not be able to sense that special fluctuation from the silver tower. However, Lin Dong, who possessed the devouring ancestral symbol, felt as though he had been electrocuted. That fluctuation of something that originated from the same source was something that nothing in the world could imitate. Lin Dong's pupils, which had shrunk to the size of pinholes, stared intently at the small silver tower. This continued for a long time, before the great storm that raged within his heart gradually weakened, and the deafening noises that had vanished from around him once again surged into his ears. At the same time, it dragged Lin Dong out from his absent-minded state. Gulp. Lin Dong's throat vibrated for a moment. His perspiration-covered hands were gently wiped on his thighs. After which, he softly asked in his mind, Your senses, are not wrong right? Even if I may be wrong, the reaction of the devouring ancestral symbol within your body will never go wrong. Yan replied. Those fluctuations hidden within this silver tower does indeed belong to the thunderbolt ancestral symbol. The corners of Lin Dong's mouth involuntarily lifted after receiving confirmation. He quickly exhaled a long breath towards the sky. There was finally a clue after having searched for so many years. 
I feel that the location of the second ancestral symbol that you are aware of is very likely the thunderbolt ancestral symbol that is related to the silver small tower, Yan mused for a moment, before commenting. Lin Dong nodded slightly. He also shared this feeling. There were only eight ancestral symbols in the entire world. The only ancestral symbols other than the devouring ancestral symbol that he was aware of, were the darkness ancestral symbol of the Palace of Darkness, and the blazing ancestral symbol belonging to Mo Luo of the Chaotic Demon Sea. This clue that had appeared should be the fourth ancestral symbol, the Thunderbolt ancestral symbol. Since such a clue had appeared in this Chaotic Demon Sea, it was likely that the Thunderbolt ancestral symbol was hidden at a certain spot within the Chaotic Demon Sea. This was similar to the map that Lin Dong had obtained. Hence, it was very likely that the two were referring to the same ancestral symbol. Fortunately, this kind of fluctuation is something that only people like you, who possess ancestral symbols, can sense. Otherwise, once this information spreads, all hell will break loose in the entire chaotic demon sea, Yan said. Lin Dong nodded. If the Sky Merchant Court was aware that this silver tower was related to the Thunderbolt ancestral symbol, they would definitely use all their ability to prevent it from being revealed to the public. They would definitely search quietly, and obtain that Thunderbolt ancestral symbol. This was because everyone knew just how powerful the ancestral symbols were. If the Sky Merchant Court was able to obtain the Thunderbolt ancestral symbol, they would definitely become a pinnacle faction in the Chaotic Demon Sea. An example was Mo Luo. With the blazing ancestral symbol in his hand, which Samsara stage super expert in the Chaotic Demon Sea would dare to fight with him. Even a reincarnation stage expert would have a hard time dealing with a Samsara stage expert who possessed an ancestral symbol. Even though this is the case, it will still be extremely difficult to obtain this small silver tower. Lin Dong frowned slightly. From the expressions of those large factions in front, this silver tower was clearly the target which they had been waiting for. Although these people were unaware that the small silver tower was related to the Thunderbolt ancestral symbol, just the fact that it had been found in a cave dwelling left behind by a reincarnation stage expert alone, was sufficient for them desperately try to obtain it. It was clearly an extremely difficult task for Lin Dong to compete with these extremely wealthy fellows for the small silver tower. It is indeed very difficult. Yan also stated. Currently, Lin Dong had yet to become strong enough to deter all the other experts in this place. Hence, he had to obediently sit down, and compete for this small silver tower, that was related to the Thunderbolt ancestral symbol, through ordinary means. However, given their wealth, it was obvious that they were unqualified to do so. Lin Dong pursed his lips, as a stern expression flashed across those pitch black eyes of his. He had spent a great deal of effort in order to find the second ancestral symbol. Since he had discovered a clue, there was naturally no reason for him to give it up. He must obtain the small silver tower at all cost. Oh! Lin Dong suddenly turned around, while a stern expression flashed across his eyes. After which, he became startled. This was because he could see that Mu Ling Shan beside him was actually also staring at the small silver tower on the auction stage in a somewhat absent minded manner. Brother Lin Dong, that thing seems a little special, Mu Ling Shan lifted her clear large eyes to look at Lin Dong. After which, she spoke in a voice that only the two of them could hear. The corners of Lin Dong's eyes involuntarily twitched upon hearing this. There was some disbelief deep within his eyes. Could it be that this girl had also sensed the ancestral symbol fluctuation from the silver tower? But how was this possible? This girl did not possess any ancestral symbol. How was it possible for her to detect that unique fluctuation? I, it is indeed extraordinary. Lin Dong suppressed the shock within his heart and nodded. Currently, he did not have the mood to find out how Mu Ling Shan could sense this fluctuation. What he needed to think of now was how he could obtain that small silver tower. Tang Dongling watched at the surging atmosphere from the auction stage, and involuntarily smiled. Her pretty eyes looked at the small silver tower in her hand, before she smilingly said, This tower's starting bid is 30 million Xian Yuan pills. 
the originally explosive atmosphere immediately turned sluggish after this price was announced. Soon after, countless individuals sat down in a depressed manner. Such a price was something that even some of the wealthy large factions would have to consider carefully, and even less needed to be said about them. Moreover, this was only the initial price. Just what kind of terrifying price would it reach after the subsequent bidding war? The commotion had become much quieter in the face of this shocking price. Even those large factions in front frowned slightly and wore grave faces. Haha, <laughs> since no one is going to start, my demonic wind cave shall initiate the bidding. Xiaoyans greedily looked at the small silver tower. He licked his lips and laughed, 32 million. If your demonic wind cave is so rich, why didn't you suppress that little girl earlier? My sky tablet sect offers 35 million. A middle-aged man in black clothes laughed. His laughter contained some mockery. He was someone from the northern Xianxi sky tablet sect, and had quite a strong background which was not weaker than the demonic wind cave. Since everyone is showing such interest, my universe cave shall also join in. 38 million. A white-clothed Zhou Gan, who had yet to join a single bid since the beginning, laughed and said. Ha ha, my suspended valley offers 40 million. It has begun, Lin Dong leaned on the backrest of his seat, and watched this bidding war that had erupted without warning. Both of his eyes slowly narrowed. Such a price had kicked him out of the competition right from the start. Clearly, he had already lost the qualification to compete with these large factions according to the rules. Do not participate in this competition, Lin Dong tilted his head, looked at Mu Ling Shan and shook his head. This little girl seemed intent to give it a try. Why? Mu Ling Shan asked in a puzzled manner. She could tell that Lin Dong was also extremely interested in that small tower. Forget about whether you can outbid those people. Even if you can, will we be able to successfully bring it away with only our strength? Lin Dong softly inquired. Mu Ling Shan was taken aback. Although she felt some unwillingness, she still nodded her head. She might be a little naughty at times, but she was not stupid. She clearly understood that even if she successfully bought this small silver tower in front of countless pairs of jealous eyes, it would be an extremely difficult matter to successfully take it away. This was not only the case for the two of them. It was the same for those large factions competing for it in front of them, the other factions who had failed in outbidding them would likely not give up so easily. This auction was merely the first round in the competition for the small silver tower. Who? Lin Dong exhaled gently. His cold eyes looked at the increasingly intense competition before him. Since he was unable to obtain this small silver tower through proper means, he could only take an unorthodox approach. In any case, he must obtain this small silver tower at all cost. Chapter 918, Competition for the Silver Tower 51 million 52 million Lin Dong watched as the various big factions continuously bidded. The current bidding had already been pushed to quite a heated level. A price of 50 million was already considered quite a large sum even to them. Hence, after the bidding price had once again been raised to 55 million, there were finally some large factions who sat down unwillingly. However, from their somewhat gloomy expressions, it was clear that they would not easily give up this small silver tower. It seemed that everyone understood that this competition in the auction ground would not mean truly obtaining the small silver tower. At the very most, it would allow one to gain an advantage. Lin Dong observed the auction area. Currently, there were only three large factions still bidding. They were the Demonic Wind Cave, Universe Cave, and the Illusionary Demon Sect. It was obvious that none of the three were willing to give up. The already rather expensive price had finally stabilized at 61 million after some intense competition. It was the Demonic Wind Cave which had offered this final bid. They are really wealthy, Lin Dong smiled faintly, and looked at the Demonic Wind Cave, which had managed to emerge victorious from amongst the many competitors. There was a playful expression in his eyes. Haha, brother Xiaoyan seems to be really generous. 
This small silver tower might be related to a reincarnation stage expert's cave dwelling, but this has not been completely verified. Nevertheless, you are able to spend such a price to purchase it, how bold! Zhou Gan smacked his mouth and laughed softly towards Xie Yan. Thank you for your reminder brother Zhou Gan. However, I think that this object is worth the price. Xie Yan gave a superficial smile and said. There was some fury within his heart. If it was not because of the final fight with Zhou Gan, the price would not have risen to such an extent. Zhou Gan smiled and softly said, In that case, I will congratulate brother Xie Yan. However, I truly hope that you will be able to successfully bring it back to the demonic wind cave. Zhou Gan's smile was a little strange as he uttered these words. At the same time, the other large factions also curled their lips. They casually leaned against the backrest of their chairs, and lowered their eyes slightly. Nevertheless, chilling light flashed within their eyes. Xie Yan was naturally able to detect these strange gazes. He immediately laughed coldly and replied, In that case, let's wait and see. Tang Dongling watched this great bidding war come to an end from the auction stage. She smiled sweetly and said, Since no one is offering a higher bid, this small silver tower will belong to the demonic wind cave for a price of 61 million Xian Yuan pills. A series of low commotions were emitted from the entire auction ground at this moment. However, the strange thing was that many people's expressions appeared somewhat unusual. Their gazes intersected with each other, while greed surged deep within their eyes. Let's go. The auction is over. Lin Dong smilingly glanced at Xie Yan, before standing up and speaking to Mu Ling Shan. Um. Mu Ling Shan nodded. She also understood that although the auction was over, the true fun had only just begun. It was likely that these people from the demonic wind cave would experience a headache during the next few days. Lin Dong led Mu Ling Shan out of the auction ground, before entering the Sky Merchant Court. He wanted to retrieve the items he had gained from the auction. Lin Dong and Mu Ling Shan were brought by a female servant to a VIP room, where they waited for a moment. Finally, they saw the slim figure of Tang Dongling appearing in their sights. Brother Lin Dong, the core spiritual birth serum that you have auctioned obtained a total of 12,500,000 Xian Yuan pills. This is the remainder after deducting the cost of the Volcano Flame Essence Stones and the things that you have bought in the auction. Tang Dongling smilingly handed over a Qunkin bag and said. Other than the corpse, everything that you have purchased are inside. I have troubled Miss Tang. Lin Dong nodded. After which, he looked towards Mu Ling Shan beside him. The latter lifted her head and smilingly said to Tang Dongling. This elder sister is afraid that I cannot fork out the money to purchase the corpse, right? Tang Dongling was a little embarrassed. However, she was good at hiding her emotions. Her delicate finger drew past Mu Lingxian's smooth face and smilingly said, The corpse might be expensive, but it has not yet reached the point where elder sister will feel some pain. At the very most, I can help brother Lin Dong pay for it. Lass you should stop fooling around. Lin Dong helplessly shook his head. Mu Ling Shan smiled happily. She waved her small hand, and a Qunkin bag appeared within, and was subsequently handed it to Tang Dongling. All right, the 20 million Xian Yuan pills are all inside. Tang Dongling received it. She did not check its contents. Instead, she handed it to the female servant beside her. After which, a couple of people carried the crystal coffin in. Lin Dong looked at the corpse within the crystal coffin, as excitement flashed deep within his eyes. Subsequently, he slowly stepped forward and touched the crystal coffin. He could vaguely detect a faint trace of devouring power being emitted from the corpse inside it. Brother Lin Dong, this corpse is quite strange. Any energy that approaches it will disappear in a strange manner. You should be careful if you intend to do anything to it. Tang Dongling cautioned from the side. Thank you. Lin Dong smiled and nodded. He waved his sleeve, and kept this crystal coffin into his Qunkin bag. The devouring ancestral symbol was within his body. Hence, 
there was no need to worry about any strange movements of this devouring sky corpse. It seems that Brother Lin Dong has some understanding of this corpse. Tang Dongling's pretty eyes flashed as she softly inquired. Not really. Lin Dong replied in a vague manner. Fortunately, this devouring sky corpse was far too rare. If it was not for Yan, even he would not be aware that this thing was actually refined from the devouring ancestral symbol. If the Sky Merchant Court was to learn that they had sold a corpse that could be comparable to a Samsara stage expert in the future for 20 million Xian Yuan pills, it was likely that even the Sky Merchant Court's master would charge out with a red face. It was best that others did not know about this matter. Tang Dongling was aware that Lin Dong was unwilling to divulge anything after seeing how he avoided the question. She merely smiled in response. The reason that she had asked was due to her own curiosity. After all, their Sky Merchant Court had used all its means but had still failed to find out the origin of this corpse. That's right. Brother Lin Dong, the Sky Merchant City might be a little chaotic during these few days. You should be careful. Tang Dongling hesitated for a moment, before suddenly speaking. Lin Dong's eyes flickered. Currently, the small silver tower had landed in the hands of the demonic wind cave. The remaining large factions would likely be unwilling to simply leave things be. Moreover, given their background, they were not afraid of offending the demonic wind cave. If they had the opportunity to do so, they would definitely snatch the small silver tower from the hands of the demonic wind cave. Hence, there would definitely be a bloody battle. Thank you for your warning Miss Tang. Since the transaction is over, I should be heading back now. Lin Dong cupped his hands together, and smiled at Tang Dongling. Without further ado, he led Mu Ling Shan and left under Tang Dongling's eyes. They had only just reached the exit of the Sky Merchant Court, when they saw a surge in the crowd in front of them. Soon after, he saw the group from the Demonic Wind Cave walking in amidst many comments from various people. Xia Yan was standing at the front. When Lin Dong saw Xia Yan, the latter also clearly spotted him. Immediately, a cold light flashed across his eyes. He walked forward and laughed coldly, You are really bold to dare to appear in front of me. Ha ha, the one who is currently in trouble is not me, let's talk after you can successfully bring that item out of the Sky Merchant region. It looks like there will be a good show to watch during these few days. Lin Dong smiled teasingly at Xia Yan. After which, he ceased speaking, and directly walked past the ladder, and out of the Sky Merchant Court. You bastard! Xia Yan's expression was a little ugly, as he watched Lin Dong brush past him. His fist was tightly clenched. It was likely that he would have been able to resist attacking the former, if it had not been for the special circumstances he was currently in. Let's go Junior Cave Chief. We should hurry and take the item. There is still a need for us to plan how to escape. It is not worthwhile to fight that brat now. The black-clothed elder beside Xia Yan softly said. Xia Yan breathed in deeply and nodded. He was aware that they were currently being watched at by countless jealous eyes. It was impossible for them to divert any attention to bother about Lin Dong. Lin Dong led Mu Ling Shan out from the Sky Merchant Court. After which, he lifted his head. There seemed to be dark clouds slowly gathering in the distant azure sky. The stifling atmosphere had a bloody scent surging within it. The fun is about to begin. Lin Dong rubbed his hands and smiled faintly. He had found a clue to the second ancestral symbol after so many years. Would he give up so easily? The answer was clearly a no. Chapter 919 Controlling the Sky Devouring Corpse Inside the spacious room, Lin Dong took out the Sea King spirit grass he had purchased from the auction. After which, he tossed it towards Mu Ling Shan as he smiled and said, Take it. Use it to resolve the seal on your body. Mu Ling Shan extended her small hands, and hastily received it. Joy surfaced within her large eyes, as she beamed and said, I have finally obtained it. Humph, once I undo the seal. I will definitely pluck all of the teeth belonging to those blood demon sharks the next time I see them. Lin Dong chuckled and replied, 
we still have another activity before that. Are we going to snatch the silver tower from that fellow? Mu Lingxian's big eyes brightened. She leaned forward with great interest, good, good. That fellow are so hateful. We will snatch his stuff and make him die in anger. Lin Dong looked at the little girl who seemed to desire the world to plunge into chaos, and did not know whether to laugh or cry. After rubbing her small head, he said, you should resolve this seal of yours first. Snatching that item will not be an easy matter. We still need to plan. Um. Mu Ling Shan nodded. She clearly understood that if she was unable to resolve the seal, given her current strength, she would only be a burden if she accompanied Lin Dong to snatch the item. Mu Ling Shan waved her small hand, as the Black Life Death Coffin cover flashed and appeared. She leaped onto it, and dense blue light erupted from within her body, while the Sea King Spirit Grass also emitted a jade green light. Roar! Blood light surged on Mu Lingxian's shoulder the moment she activated the Yuan power within her body, as a blood-colored light shark appeared. Its sharp teeth firmly bit her shoulder. Blood light invaded her body, and blocked Mu Lingxian's Yuan power from being circulated. Mu Lingxian bit her lips, as the seals formed by her small hands changed. That jade green light that the Sea King spirit grass in her hands had transformed into surged into her body. After which, it attacked the blood-colored light shark. This Sea King spirit grass seemed to have a great suppression effect on the seal. Hence, the blood light was quickly forced back wherever the green light passed. That fierce blood-colored shark, which was originally swaggering mightily, swiftly fell into a weary state. It is indeed effective. Lin Dong watched this scene with joy. It seemed that this Sea King spirit grass did indeed have a great effect on the seal placed on Mu Ling Shan. This allowed him to sigh in relief. After all, if Mu Ling Shan was able to recover her strength, she would definitely be a great help to future operations. I will also use this period of time to control the sky devouring corpse. Lin Dong smiled. He waved his sleeve, and the burning sky cauldron flew out. His body moved and flew into it. He would definitely use the devouring ancestral symbol in order to control the corpse. Hence, it was best to be a little careful. The interior of the burning sky cauldron appeared even steadier and mightier than in the past. Eight locations in the sky vaguely emitted some fluctuations. They appeared just like sky supporting pillars, that completely stabilized this entire realm. With the eight burning sky gates, the burning sky cauldron was clearly much more powerful than before. Lin Dong's eyes swept around. After which, he flicked his finger, and a crystal coffin appeared in a flash. A completely black corpse was quietly standing within the coffin. Lin Dong's hand rubbed the crystal coffin. Yuan power shook, and completely shattered the crystal coffin. As the crystal coffin scattered, the black corpse was completely exposed under Lin Dong's eyes. Lin Dong's eyes contained some excitement as he carefully observed this corpse. The latter's black shriveled body was covered with many claw-like scars, and there was a large fist-sized deep hole on its back. One could tell that it had experienced quite a desperate battle a very long time ago. Lin Dong examined the corpse. He thought for a moment, before flicking his finger. A pillar of formidable Yuan power shot out, and ruthlessly blasted its body. However, that corpse did not even budge in the face of this attack. Only when the Yuan power force shot onto its body, did that dark surface emit a black light, and dissolved Lin Dong's Yuan power attack in a flash. It is indeed devouring power. Lin Dong softly muttered to himself. He was incomparably familiar with devouring power. Hence, he naturally clearly understood that his Yuan power was being devoured by the corpse at the moment of contact. Yan, how should I control it? Lin Dong asked within his mind. Although he was the current owner of the devouring ancestral symbol, he was clearly far from being able to utilize the devouring ancestral symbol in a manner that was as terrifying as the devouring master back then. Submerge your mind into the devouring ancestral symbol, and circulate the devouring power into its body. Subsequently, all you need to do is to create a devouring seal. Yan replied. 
Lin Dong inclined his head upon hearing this. He extended his hand, and black light gathered on it. After which, it transformed into a light circle. Soon after, his finger moved forward, and gently touched the chest of the corpse. Buzz! Another black light ripple scattered the moment Lin Dong's fingers touched the devouring sky corpse. However, when the light that contained the devouring power touched Lin Dong's fingers, it was blocked by the devouring power lingering around his fingertip. Chi! Two clusters of devouring power intermingled. After which, Lin Dong clearly felt his mind charge into the devouring sky corpse's body without any effort through the point of contact. The scene before Lin Dong's eyes changed the moment he charged in. After which, he discovered that he seemed to be deep within a vast starry sky. This unexpected change caused Lin Dong to be slightly startled. However, he quickly recovered. It was likely that this scene was a mental image that someone had left inside the, the body of the sky devouring corpse. Lin Dong stood in this starry sky. Suddenly, he seemed to have sensed something, and quickly lifted his head. His pupils abruptly shrunk, as he peered into the distance above his head. It seemed as though a ten million feet large black crack had appeared at the end of his sight. The crack appeared like a ravine in the sky. At the end of the darkness, was an indescribably evil aura. Swoosh! Rushing wind sounds appeared in the distance the moment that crack appeared. A figure that was completely wrapped in black light stepped on the air and walked over. Black holes seemed to fill the air around this figure, as numerous black light vortexes formed and disappeared. From a distance, he appeared like the creator of black holes. A tear between the planes. The black light figure looked at the indescribably huge black crack. It seemed as though a low and deep voice slowly echoed. Lin Dong observed the black light figure. The devouring power that spread from within the latter's body made Lin Dong aware of his identity. The devouring master. There was a completely still person standing behind the devouring master. If one was to look carefully, it was surprisingly the sky devouring corpse that Lin Dong had obtained. Let me see just what you are. The serene black eyes of the devouring master observed the crack between the planes. His body moved, and he actually transformed into a flash of black light that shot directly into the crack, while the sky devouring corpse closely followed behind. Swoosh! Lin Dong watched the two figures charging into the crack between planes, and his scalp involuntarily turned numb. Behind the crack, should be the so-called main camp of the Yumo. This devouring master was really domineering. To actually dare to directly charge in. Bang bang. Soon after the devouring master charged into this crack between planes, an earth-shaking fluctuation began to unfurl from within it. A terrifying and evil monstrous aura spread. It appeared as though the sky itself had become completely dark at this moment. The trembling within the crack continued for a long time, before an earth-shaking furious roar was emitted. Lin Dong seemed to see a hundred thousand feet large giant hand flash past within the crack. A frightening fluctuation was transmitted over, as a flash of black light shot out from the crack. It was the devouring master who had charged in previously. The devouring master stabilized his body. His expression was a lot more solemn, as he looked at the crack. After which, he turned around and left without saying anything. Swoosh! He was about to leave, when a 10,000 feet large giant finger extended from the crack between the planes. It pressed onto the empty space, and an evil black light beam tore through space, and blasted towards the devouring master with lightning speed. Bang! The devouring master did not turn around to block it. However, when the black light was about to strike him, that sky devouring corpse suddenly charged forward. It used its body to forcibly receive that black light beam. Swish! The devouring master's figure flickered and quickly left. On the other hand, the glow of the sky devouring corpses dimmed. After which, it powerlessly fell, and finally descended into a certain area of the deep sea. The scene before him suddenly came to a stop the moment the sky devouring corpse fell into the sea. Lin Dong's mind withdrew from within, as he pursed his lips. 
It seemed that this sky devouring corpse had been damaged into such a state after having helped the devouring master block a relatively powerful attack back then. These ancient scenes really caused one to constantly feel shock that was impossible to describe in words. Lin Dong sighed softly. His black light infused finger drew past the forehead of the sky devouring corpse. A black symbol appeared on its forehead, before slowly fading. The moment that symbol was formed, Lin Dong could clearly sense that he seemed to possess the ability to control the sky devouring corpse before him. Chapter 920, Good Show have I successfully taken control of it? Lin Dong's expression was happy, as he looked at the sky-devouring corpse before him. He could clearly sense a trace of a connection being formed between the corpse and himself the moment the symbol was formed. Lin Dong's eyes were burning as he stared at the sky-devouring corpse. With a thought, the corpse's tightly shut eyes suddenly opened. A solemn look seemed to flit across those pitch-black as ink-like eyes. Ha ha! Even with Lin Dong's composure, he could not help but laugh heartily upon seeing this scene. Controlling the sky devouring corpse was a lot easier than he had imagined. If the sky merchant court knew how this thing, that they had felt helpless against, was actually so swiftly controlled by Lin Dong, it was likely that they would feel quite depressed. However, there was nothing that could be done. Lin Dong was the only person in the world who possessed the devouring ancestral symbol. Only a symbol condensed from the devouring power could remain inside the body of the sky-devouring corpse. Any other energy that entered the sky-devouring corpse would be devoured without hesitation by the devouring power within the body of the corpse. Although this sky-devouring corpse can still be used, it is in a half-crippled state. Yan drifted out from Lin Dong's body. He glanced at the sky-devouring corpse in front of him and said. If you really wish to repair it you can only use the devouring ancestral symbol to slowly nourish it. Lin Dong nodded. He did not have whimsical thoughts of being able to allow the sky-devouring corpse to recover to its peak strength immediately. Food must be eaten bite by bite. He was already rather satisfied in having obtained it. Even though this sky-devouring corpse is in a half-crippled state, even an expert who has genuinely stepped into the profound death stage will have difficulty completely destroying it. Yan said. Of course, it's a pity that its condition is so terrible, and its offensive strength has crippled so greatly. Otherwise, it would be able to kill even a profound death stage expert. Currently, it can only deal with a perfect profound life stage expert. Lin Dong grinned. In other words, this sky-devouring corpse's defensive strength should be similar to a profound death stage expert and had the offensive power of a perfect profound life stage expert, this was already rather substantial battle power. Although it is unable to kill a profound life stage expert, it should not be difficult for it to delay one with just its defensive strength alone. Lin Dong chuckled and said. Even those profound death stage experts would have a headache if they encountered such a sticky gum that they would be unable to kill or shake off. Yan nodded. He did not deny these words. Regardless of how crippled the sky-devouring corpse was, it was ultimately something that the devouring master had refined to fight the Yumo back then. Lin Dong pondered for a while after having gained control over the corpse. With a clench of his hand, the unknown sea map he had bought from the auction appeared within it. After which, his mental energy spread, imprinting the map into his mind. This continued for a long time, before he opened his eyes in a somewhat helpless manner. This is also not it. Although the sea map recorded an unknown sea region, it was not something that Lin Dong needed. It seemed that he would only be able to obtain the exact location of the Thunderbolt ancestral symbol from the small silver tower. I can only target that thing, Lin Dong muttered. The demonic wind cave has sent many people this time. From the looks of the situation back then, there were two people who had reached the perfect profound life stage at Xia Yan's side while that Xia Yan has also reached the peak of the advanced profound life stage. One more step, and he will be able to enter the perfect profound life stage. This lineup was considered rather powerful. If it was not because the temptation from the small silver tower was far too great, it was likely that hardly anyone would think of targeting them. Unfortunately, 
there weren't so many ifs in this world. Since Xie Yan was the first to snatch the small silver tower, he should also be clearly aware, that it will not be easy to bring this item out of the sky merchant region with a bunch of wolves gathering around him. Lin Dong had a premonition that Xie Yan's group would not remain in Sky Merchant City for long. Although this was the territory of Sky Merchant Court, and everyone would give the Sky Merchant Court some face in the beginning, a few days later, someone would surely be unable to endure and strike. There will be a good show to watch when that time came. Lin Dong curled the corner of his mouth as his thoughts reached this point. His smile had a gloating feeling to it. Although the auction had already ended, the population of the city did not decrease in the following few days. Many experts continued to remain here. Moreover, their eyes were all locked onto a certain direction while they waited. That place was where the demonic wind cave were staying. From the looks of it, it seemed that there were many people within the city who coveted the small silver tower in the demonic wind cave's hands. Although numerous people were clearly knew their limits, Sky Merchant City practically a wolf's den now. The demonic wind cave was akin to a mighty lion dragging around some food. Although the lion was very intimidating, this intimidation was currently relatively weak. Xie Yan's group were also aware of this situation, and they similarly had their own tricks. In a single day, they had spent a great price to hire many powerful guards from within Sky Merchant City. They clearly intended to use wolves to guard against the other wolves. However, those remaining big factions in Sky Merchant City merely looked on with cold eyes. This temporary external aid hired by the Demonic Wind Cave would not be of much use at a critical juncture. Moreover, there might even be some amongst the group who were planning on turning on them. At that time, the Demonic Wind Cave would only end up in a chaos. Lin Dong sat on the edge of a tall building within the city. He somewhat lazily looked in the northwest direction of the city. Soon after, he laughed softly and muttered, They should be moving soon, right? A gloomy looking Xie Yan slowly stood up in a deep and quiet courtyard while Lin Dong's words sounded. His eyes looked at the surrounding demonic wind cave experts within the room. Finally, they paused on a skinny figure in a corner. In that case, let's act as planned. We will leave the city this afternoon. Afternoon arrived extremely quickly. The moment the sun lowered in the west, Lin Dong, who was seated atop the building, suddenly had a change in expression. At the same time, he could sense the atmosphere of the entire city suddenly ripple for a moment. Are they unable to endure any longer? Lin Dong involuntarily smiled a little, as he sensed this slight change. After which, he lifted his head. He could hear countless rushing wind sounds suddenly appearing in the northwest. A couple of hundred individuals rushed out from hidden areas, before rushing out of the city. Lin Dong stood up on the building. He ignored chaotic scenery of countless figures in the sky. Instead, his gaze focused on three areas. These three areas had the most powerful presences. Clearly, they should be the main forces of the demonic wind cave. They have actually scattered as a distraction hey, Lin Dong's brow slightly raised. He could see that those large factions from all over the city, which had been vigilantly watching the demonic wind cave, had begun to move. The locations that they had locked onto, were those three strongest groups. The Silver Tower is not with any of these people. These people are all covers, Yan's voice sounded at this moment. Lin Dong grinned. That Xie Yan would never expect that Yan had already locked onto the fluctuation from the Silver Tower back at the auction ground. All of Xie Yan's plans were useless at this moment. Let me see just how long you can keep hiding. Lin Dong crossed his arms over his chest. His eyes were filled with mockery. At this moment, Sky Merchant City had undoubtedly become extremely chaotic. Countless experts rushed through the sky like a swarm of locusts. After which, they chased those individuals from the demonic wind cave. Even several large factions ended up chasing the three groups with powerful auras. This continued for around half an hour. Only then, did the city become a little more peaceful. The silver tower is heading towards the north. Yan's voice suddenly sounded. 
The smile on Lin Dong's face became even wider after hearing this. After which, he whistled, and directly rushed towards the north of the city. A petite figure swiftly followed behind him. Lin Dong's body whistled through the air amidst the setting sun. His shining eyes gazed in the direction where the fluctuation originated, as he softly muttered, Just where will you run to this time around? That silver tower will be mine at all cost. <laughs>